Welcome back to another video in this uh, analysis of the traveling salesperson problem and the optimization of it. So uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at the swapping of the two elements. So just like in the scales problem, we had the small change. In this problem, we're going to be swapping two elements, so two of the um, nodes around. So, so we're just going to change the root a little bit, right? So it's going to it's going to vary a little bit from the small change, right? We're going to be swapping two nodes. Um, but uh, that's that's effectively what we're doing right now. So uh, give it a go. Uh, you know, consider the fact that you're going to have the array list. Just think about what you might need coming into the uh, swap function and what you're going to need to return. And uh, I'll be right back with the solution. Right. So uh, this is the solution we're looking at. Uh, truth be told, even I had a few issues with this one. Um, you know, it's just about making sure you don't. Uh, assign things incorrectly or you know that you're using the correct syntax I had some fantastic people helping me out with that so thank you to them so effectively what we're going to be doing is outputting the type array list um, and we're going to be taking in our um, our integer array we're going to be calling it my array for this time and this is the array we're going to be swapping so we're going to create a new array list right that's going to be a clone of the array list that we've got in now remember how we did that for our small change. We wanted to create a clone, right? And we're going to be doing that here as opposed to in our fit in our actual optimization algorithm, right? And you'll see why soon. So we're going to be creating our clone. Then what we're going to be doing is assigning the value of j and i to zero. And we're saying while i is equal to j, right? I it's just going to change immediately now. I is going to be equal to a random value. So what, what this is effectively doing is just so before I explain it is it's making sure that I is not equal to J right at the end of this because we can't swap something with itself. So I is going to be equal to a random value between one and the size of the array minus one because don't forget that just the size of the array if we got the last if we got the actual size that would be an index out of bounds that would be out of the range. And then j is going to be this exact same thing. And we're basically creating random indexes within the array list that we're swapping. We're then going to assign the my new dot get i. So the random index, we're going to assign the value of that random index to a temporary holder. And then we're going to say my new dot set. So we're setting the value, the index value of i to the index value of j, i.e. if we had this in our array, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and say the index value of j was 6 and the index value of i was 3, we'd be setting the value of 6 into 3. We'd be doing that. In this next step, we have the index value of i, so what was previously the value 3, being set in the index value of j. So we are now looking at that being replaced by a 3. And now the two elements in this array have been swapped over. And that is simply how our swap works. And we're returning that new array. And that's going to be critical in its use case in our optimization algorithm that we're going to be looking at next. So see you in the next video.